This weekend, I'm going on a super quick adventure to New Jersey to visit my friends Amy and Brianna, who you might remember from our Rhinebed vlogs. Anyway, we're gonna do some train riding today. We're gonna do some knitting. We're gonna go to a yarn store tomorrow. It's a rainy, cozy weekend, and I can't wait, but first, we gotta pack. <laughs> Another broken plate, another called off date. We never seem to get it right. Another heart attack, words that we can't take back. We are the reason opposites attract. Once you slam the door on the second floor, I regret it all. When I think it through, I can help the way. I have to keep reminding myself that I'm only going away for one night, like just over 24 hours. And so I'm keeping it really simple with my projects. And I'm gonna bring with me my knitted knockers to work on once I get there, when we're just hanging around. These are um, breast prosthetics for people who have had mastectomies. So I am gonna be continuing to work on those. And I need to actually grab my little like kit that has scissors and all that stuff so I can hopefully finish one set and then start another set. And then I'm also gonna bring with me for the train, I am bringing this muscle bro hat that I actually just started two days ago. It's for me and it is Suburban Stitcher Reunited that I got at DFW Fiberfest. I just wanted to have a project ready to go that I can take with me in the dark knitting or whatever I'm doing. And my other hat that I'm making for Kent, I kind of need to like see it on him. So I don't want to take a project that I'm not going to be able to knit very much on. So this should be more than enough knitting. Now I need to run and eat some lunch real quick and then we are going to head to the train station. Just like most of our journeys, this one starts out with a walk to Penn Station. It was a little trickier this day since we were getting rain from Hurricane Nicole, but Kent came along to help me with my rolling suitcase and then I just carried my backpack. I was worried for a minute because my train went from standby to delayed. But we boarded 10 minutes later and got out of New York City quickly. We even made the time back up. I got all set up for the two hour train ride. I downloaded the season finale of Love is Blind season three, and I brought along some coffee, water, snacks, and of course, my knitting project. I made sure it was a comfy and cozy, but rainy ride. About an hour and a half into the ride, I needed to change trains, but it was super easy. I just hopped across the platform real quick and continued knitting until I arrived at my destination. I love coming to visit my friend Amy because she's one of those hosts that just makes you feel at home. I guess better than at home because at home, I don't usually serve myself wine and cheese. After knitting and enjoying our wine for a bit, we ordered some dinner in and sat at the table and just chatted the night away. 
We ended the night with a little more knitting and then I went to bed full and happy and got a great night's sleep. I love weekend mornings and just waking up slowly, drinking coffee, and knitting for as long as I want, and it was made even better with friends. Now coming up, we are going to check out a new to me yarn store, and I can't wait to show it to you. Good morning. Today we are going out to get some breakfast. I'm gonna get a New Jersey diner experience, so I'm very excited about that. And then we're gonna be headed to the Mother Knitter, which is in Red Bank, New Jersey, to see our friend Brie, who's a Little Wolf Knits. She's doing a trunk show today. So I'm just gonna grab all of my filming stuff and my project, and it's also beautiful today. It's like 70 degrees, which is wild. I'm wearing long sleeves because I didn't think it was gonna be so warm. But I think we're gonna have a really lovely day just hanging out and getting to knit and hopefully maybe getting to buy some yarn. If I just had your number, I would let you know how I feel. You are up to me. Stop dancing to the music and the chase. Like this was meant to be. Take my hand. I feel my heart beat. And I don't want this moment to stop. For breakfast, we started out with a corn muffin, which I thought was more of a southern thing, but the way that they sliced and toasted it here was completely different than anything I've had before, and it was so good. I like to get a little salty and a little sweet for breakfast, so I had eggs, bacon, hash browns, and chocolate chip pancakes. Can someone from this area please explain to me why hash browns are called home fries? It makes no sense to me. Now it's time to head to Mother Knitter in Red Bank, New Jersey to see our friend Bree. This store is beautiful, open, and bright. It's located on a super cute block that has all sorts of shops and restaurants. They had the door just wide open to let in all the fresh air on this gorgeous day. One of the special yarns they carry is Divine Yarn. The dyer has all sorts of unique bases and gorgeous colors. They used to live locally, but now they're out of Buffalo, New York. And if I'm not mistaken, this is the only shop where you can get Divine Yarn. Another amazing yarn that Mother Knitter carries is the Little Wolf Knits. There's a whole wall of it in the shop. And on this day, Brianna was having a trunk show with her donut collection. If there was something in the donut collection that you wanted, you better run to Mother Knitter. The collection is closed online and this is the only place that has any skeins of it left. Mother Knitter also has an extensive collection of Sandus yarn, and everything is available in store or on their online shop. You know when you're around friends and yarn that your excitement can just run wild. So it's no surprise that Amy, Brie, and I walked out of there with plans to make matching lace and fade boxies out of Brie's The Little Wolf Knits yarn. We were at the yarn store for a couple of hours, so afterwards we needed a little pick-me-up. We walked down the street to Antoinette's and I had an amazing oat latte and Nutella croissant. You 
probably noticed them already, but these are Amy's little poodles. They are too cute and make me wish I could shrink Toaster down to this size so I could bring him along with me everywhere. The weather was incredible, so we set up on Amy's patio to do a little knitting in the remaining sunshine. Brianna and Michael joined us after the trunk show and we all hung out and had some snacks and a glass of wine. This reminded me of our time together at Rhinebeck earlier this year where we were only missing Kent. My short visit was coming to a close. I wanted to make sure to get back to New York City that night since Kent had kindly stayed behind to watch Toaster so that I could get some yarny time with friends. The train back was pretty empty, so I had a nice big seat all to myself. I decided to watch my first Christmas movie of the season, Falling for Christmas with Lindsay Lohan. It was both terrible and great. I will give it mm, three out of five Christmas trees. <laughs> Kent met me at Penn Station to help me out with my bags and also because it was almost 11 p.m. This was such a full and incredible 24 hours of food, yarn, and friends. Thanks so much for coming along on another Yarny Adventure. <laughs>